MWC is one of the largest tech trade shows in the world, and there were tons of cutting edge AI products unveiled there even a product that let you move a car with your eyes alone. Now, do you want to find out the four hottest tech gadgets featured at the show this year? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn all about those devices and more. Plus, you'll learn how one AI phone doesn't have any apps on it at all. The MWC show, short for Mobile World Congress, was first held in 1987 in Brussels, Belgium. It was initially geared for the cellular radio industry. You know, the precursor to the modern day smartphone. Then over the years, the event became synonymous with the mobile devices and services industry. And as of today, it resides in a somewhat permanent location in Barcelona, Spain. The show takes place every year. Now, you may know of MWC's counterpart, the CES or Consumer Electronics Show held in Vegas every year. That show gets a lot of hype. But the MWC show is often overlooked, even though it's widely considered the second best tech show in the entire sector. In fact, many times the products unveiled at MWC end up being cooler than the ones at CES. This year didn't disappoint. Tons of new artificial intelligent devices, ones with groundbreaking tech, were featured at this year's trade show. Let's dive into the four most interesting ones. First up, the Honor Magic 6 Pro smartphone. At first glance, this phone looks like any other cell phone, but there's a couple things that really make it stand out and give it its wow factor. It has a 180 megapixel front facing camera, which is insane considering the latest iPhone only has a 24 megapixel camera. That's a 750% increase over the iPhone. Another thing that stands out is the Magic 6's battery. At this point in your life, you've got to be so sick and tired of constantly trying to find a place to plug in your phone to keep it charged all day. I mean, Apple is worth trillions of dollars, but it can't make a battery that lasts from sunup to sundown? Well, the Honor phone has you covered. Its phone should easily last all day without having to be tethered to the nearest wall outlet. Its battery is 60% larger than the iPhone's. But by far, the Honor 6 Pro's coolest feature is its eye tracking technology. It lets you open and close apps on the phone just by looking at them. The company proudly showed off a demo of this at the MWC show. They set up a custom app that allowed users to start a car and move it forward and backward just by looking at buttons inside the app. People were actually moving the car with their eyes in the demo. It's like the app was reading their minds. Pretty incredible. Next up are the Ray Neo X2 glasses. You've probably heard about the Apple Vision Pro glasses by now, but there's some new competition on the market with these Ray Neo glasses. And while they can't do nearly the same thing as Apple Vision Pro glasses, they're a great alternative for their price point. One of the best benefits is that these glasses don't need to be anchored to a battery pack all day long like you do with the Apple Vision Pros. The Ray Neos have a built-in battery. And another benefit is that these glasses actually look like glasses, unlike the dorky looking Apple headset. The X2s also have a built-in AI assistant that you can activate with your voice. So you could ask the glasses for directions on the go if you're lost. In that case, the glasses heads up display would point you in the right direction until you got to your desired location. Not only that, but you can use that same heads up display to play the latest Barbie movie in augmented reality. I mean, what's there not to love about following Ken and Barbie on an adventure? The glasses come with built-in language translation as well. So next time when you're lost on the streets of Mexico City and don't know Spanish, just ask the little old lady on the park bench for directions. The Ray Neo Spectacles will translate her Spanish to English for you automatically right there on the heads-up display. Next up is the Samsung Galaxy Ring. It comes in platinum, silver, ceramic, black, and gold. This product will compete with other smart rings on the market like the Aura Ring. But there's one huge difference. The Samsung Ring will eventually integrate with other Samsung products. And this is where things get interesting. The ring just on its own isn't that special. But once it's incorporated into other Samsung products like refrigerators, TVs, and dishwashers, the ring becomes much more powerful. You see, Samsung will take all the data from your appliances and gadgets to analyze and track your health via its vitality score. And that's just a fancy way of saying health wellness score. 
Samsung could track what you've eaten in your fridge, track how well you've slept the night before, and see how much TV you've watched for the day. It would then compile all of that data with AI and give you a health wellness score for that day. And who knows, if your score ends up being low, Samsung's health tech could steer you towards eating an apple instead of eating an entire pizza like you did the night before. Next up is the T-Phone by Deutsche Telekom and Brain AI. The crazy thing about this phone is that it doesn't have any apps on it, but this is the future of smartphones. Appless phones are where it's at. Now, apps on cell phones sound like a great idea. You have an app that books you a flight to your vacation home in Cabo. You even have an app to buy you new underwear when yours get holy. The problem is that your phone gets filled with hundreds of apps that you rarely ever use. And it can become hard to find the ones that you actually need. And that's where this T-Phone appless phone comes in. On this phone, there's only one app and it consists of just one simple AI prompt interface like you'd find on ChatGPT. You ask this prompt via text or voice anything you'd like. You need that flight booked to Cabo? Just talk to the phone and ask it to do just that. The phone's AI will then find the flights for you all without you having to open any flight app. Need some new Calvin Klein underwear? Just tell the prompt to do just that. It will search Amazon for you and build you an Amazon widget within the prompt, a widget that you can tap buy now to make your purchase all without opening any other apps. And this style of prompting will most likely carry over to websites as well. Instead of going to countless different websites to get things done, it's very possible that in the near future, you'll go to one central website that will do everything for you. Whoever controls these all-encompassing AI prompt apps or websites is going to make lots and lots of money. So next year, when you hear about the cool products being unveiled at CES, be sure to check out the MWC show a few months later as well. You might very well be pleasantly surprised. That's it for tonight. If you want to learn more about cool tech show gadgets, check out my other vid, CES 2024 AI products. Buy these and be a pimp. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.